Hey, hey, everyone. How are you doing? Coach Kim here. Let me turn up the volume here. I hope you are doing well. I'm stopping by today. If I cannot see you or hear you, I want to say welcome to the lunchtime tip of the day. My name is Coach Kim with Redeemed You. I am the CEO and facilitator of the Facebook Redeemed You. Um, I also do coaching, speaking events. What else do I do? I'm an author and a writer. <laughs> So with that being said, let's get going for the lunchtime tip of the day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad um, that you guys are stopping in for the lunchtime tip of the day. It's really sunny over here, so I'm going to try to stay clear, all right? So I won't be very long. Again, I'm working through uh, my lunch, but I wanted to pop on and give you a few thoughts. Are you maintaining? And the piece of maintaining we're going to talk about today is personal development, all right? I got a lot going on, so you guys forgive me, um, but I want to continue to give you some value. So number one, use your disadvantages to your advantage. I know a lot of times we go through life and we lose. We lose things. We may lose people, um, lose in situations, but what can you use out of that situation that you can build on? All right, that's number one. How can you use your disadvantage to your advantage because i'm sure i'm absolutely sure that there is something that you can use out of that this very thing that i do every day is what i pulled off of when i lost so much after um losing my marriage and um uh, ministry for six years there is something that you can pull from what i pulled from uh, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about, but um, if you're talking about, can you go with me somewhere? The answer to that is no, that's not what this venue is about. Um, there is something that you can use from what you lost. Ask God what those things are and ask God how to help you build on that, okay? So with that being said, um, are you maintaining? Are you upgrading um, in your personal development? In your personal development, are you maintaining some of the tips that we've gone over before? Um, are you using those tips? Are you continuing to build on your personal development? Um, all right, let's go here. Are you ministering to yourself? Are you taking time for yourself? Um, hey, Regina, are you taking time for yourself? Are you ministering to yourself? I know a lot of times um, we pour out in so many other different places. Are you taking the time to minister to yourself? Are you taking the time to allow God to minister to you? Good afternoon, my friend. Good afternoon, Eugenia. Thank you for joining in. Those of you that are joining in, um, help me pray over the lunchtime tip and tip of the day. Well, hello, hello, hello. Thank you for those hearts. I so appreciate them. If the lunchtime tip of the day blesses you, please remember to like and share. We want to get the word out. Um, I am called to build people up so that they can begin to design the lives that they were truly called to live so that's what i'm all about all right so are you maintaining thank you my love thank you thank you thank you hey nisha um are you ministering to yourself are you taking the time to minister to yourself we've gained a lot of ground all right we've come through transition we have come through change we are conquering um we are conquering some things in our lives and so now we need to maintain that ground. And one of the ways we can do that is by remembering to get to a quiet place, allow God to minister to us, and we minister to ourselves. All right. That personal development piece is so very important because we want, God wants us to be at our best. How do I know that? I'm reminded of the scripture where the woman was caught in the act of adultery. All her accusers were there, Jesus was there. And what did Jesus say to her? He said, You know what, woman, where's your accusers? All right. They couldn't say anything. He said, go and sin no more, all right? That let me know that even though she'd been through something, even though she lost some things, go and sin no more. Go not in shame, go away in honor and live your life. God wants the best for you. So that's why maintaining your personal development is truly going to help you live your best life right now. All right, so remember to minister to yourself. Um, remember to continue to create systems in your life that help you flow, help you flow on the day to day. Hello, Charlene. Thank you for joining in today. Remember to maintain systems in your life that help you flow. Um, I had a situation 
on the job where we kept getting a kink in the chain, a kink in the chain. I said, hey, wait a minute, let's stop right here. We need to tweak the system so that it benefits everybody that's working together as a team. So remember, check the systems in your life. Is, is everything working in your personal life, your family life, um, in your parenting, in your money area? Is everything flowing in a good way is it is are all your systems are all your checkpoints on point all right because god wants the best for us all right and so that's why personal you are so welcome you're so welcome that's why personal development is so important so check those systems is everything flowing are your checkpoints on point um i loved um the video you did last night eugenia uh, eugenia about safety how we need to be safe um and so even with our personal safety are our systems in line. Um, so with that, now, when we have better personal systems in our life, I wanna give you some benefits of that. When we have better personal systems in our lives, here are some benefits. Creates better culture within us and outside of us. It creates better communication in our lives and with others, okay? It creates better synergy. When we have good systems in our lives, it creates better synergy. It creates better flow across all areas of our life. I thought that was so, so, so good. Um, it helps us to be a better team player. When we're personally developing, it helps us to be a better team player because the focus is not always on us um, as well. This one is really, really good to me. When you have good systems and good personal development and you're maintaining that in your life, it helps you to create better connections, okay? better connections all right those choice connections are going to come to you the connections that um you are supposed to have i know for me in my younger days um i attracted i wrote it down here i attracted what was modeled before me but i also attracted what was missing in me okay i attracted what was missing in me and so as i create better systems in my life and i and i make it a point to personally develop i am open to attract the good stuff, the good people, the good connections, the good relationships, right? Because I don't have all of this stuff missing in me. And so as I personally develop myself and develop my life and make that a point, then that good is going to come to me, okay? And so I thought that was really good for us today. Um, so we're going to attract better, higher quality connections personally and professionally when we're building ourselves up personally and maintaining um, that personal development in our life. Next, um, it's going to attract you um, it's going to stop you from attracting low level things in your life. Um, let's see where we need to, I wrote down here today, where we need to repent in an area. Let's do that because that's part of personal development as well. Okay. It keeps us, it keeps our heart pure, our mind clear before God, ourselves and others. Um, and the last one today, the last one today is getting rid of any shame in our lives. And I know, I know, I know. A lot of times we say, oh, I'm not ashamed of this. I'm not ashamed of that. It's really funny. Um, but check, check. If there's any shame anywhere in your life, please, please, please get rid of it. Because shame dismantles our confidence before God. And it dismantles our own personal confidence and just across the board in our relationship. And so we need to make sure that we're not carrying any shame. I know for years I carried shame and I wrote about it in my recent blog. You can get it off of my personal page or in the Redeemed You um, group. And I wrote about how I carried shame um, because of, you know, I was the first lady that lost the church, lost her marriage. I was in infidelity um, or my marriage, you know, incurred infidelity. And I carried a lot of shame, a lot of embarrassment. And I didn't realize how that was holding me back. So with that being said, if you are going to maintain your personal development, you have got to get rid of any shame, carrying any shame in your life. God doesn't want you carrying shame. He even said in his word, for whatever shame you have had, I want to give you double honor. And we've got to be in a place where we're personally developed enough to be able to receive that honor on our lives, okay? Again, if you want to read more about that story, hey, Jennifer, more about that story and how I carried that shame and how it affected my life. Um, affected my relationships, but also it gives you a way out of the shame. There's some things that God gave me to come out of that shame. And so I wrote about it in that blog. Again, you can get it on my personal page or the Redeemed You group. 
So that being said, I hope those things have added some value to your life today. And that is how we are going to maintain by continuing to, continuing to personally develop ourselves. Okay. And so I think that is all for today. I am going to hop off and head back uh, to work. God bless you guys. And as always, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.